Instagram for rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's always good to have you. And if you are a return and subscriber, thank you for coming back. I appreciate that soul family. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes that I truly do appreciate them. Thank you for your donations also. They ne are never expected, but always greatly appreciated. Um, what was I going to say? You know what? You wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Okay, so everyone's had their incense. Um, I started, when I was uh, setting up for this reading, all of a sudden, I started pre-channing about time and how something has changed within the perception of time or how it flows. And I don't know who needs to hear this because, um, let me do my bell first. One sec. <laughs> So the message that came through was about time and how it's changed or the understanding of why it's linear or why we perceive things as it being linear. Because I was just talking to one of my guides and um, was stating that because before I did this, I worked in daycare, so I worked in nurseries and I worked with children for over 21 years and I loved working with children. I love children. But I didn't like the daily slog of having to get up at a certain time, um, you know, drag yourself into work, especially through the winter months, it being cold, it being dark, you know, and children's energy is always the same. They're always hyped up. They're always excited for the day. Um, and I can remember I absolutely dis disliked the winter months. I disliked autumn. I disliked the winter months. I disliked it being cold and the days being shorter. And the only time that I really enjoyed was the summer months because the summer months, um, there's more sunshine. People are, you know, they're just happier. Um, there's more things that you can do outside and so on and so forth. And I've realized that I was just thinking about in two months time, we're going to be going into February and usually there would be like this sense of dread of, oh my gosh, we're going into the coldest part and that it isn't there now. And I was asking my guides why and it was to do with time and understanding that time is a human construct. We've made it linear because time isn't linear. Time is happening all at once, past, present and future. It's only for our understanding that we've placed it that way. But I feel like somebody is coming into their purpose. Someone is really, truly understanding what their purpose is. And because they're understanding what their purpose is, time doesn't matter. Because I was getting told that time is important, but it doesn't matter. Someone is floating in between. In between, it's almost like understanding that it doesn't matter. And at the same time, it does. And I don't know how to explain it. But the more that you are or someone within the, the collective is going towards their due north and understanding what their purpose is, the more they're caring about the purpose than what is happening around them and how time moves. And I think it's because when I was working with children, as much as I loved working with them, it wasn't my life purpose. It was like the training wheels for me going into my life purpose, which is why now... Um, I'm going through winter and it doesn't matter and I don't have that kind of oh my gosh it's cold I've got to wait until when is it going to be June you know and this is this is this is like a gift for someone here someone is also being gifted this in some way and I don't know exactly where this is going but we'll see okay thank you for putting up with my rambling and let's crack on I actually noticed as well that for some reason this deck has been split in half and there must be a reason for that. There's two messages that maybe want to come through. I heard two peas in the pod. Why is my cat just sitting here? Bruh, it's one of those days, seriously. <laughs> I got up so early this morning. Um, I hope everyone's doing really well. Please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm actually talking about the energies that I'm picking up on. Unless I say, you know, um, woman, man, he, she or they. It's up to you whether you are assign um, a gender. You don't have to. You can. You can throw all of that out of the window. It's up to you. Just don't make the story fit if it doesn't. And if the story doesn't fit, that's OK. There are many other readings that I do that may fit for you. And if it doesn't fit for you, it will fit for someone else. OK, if I say anything that resonates when it comes to the legal system, when 
when it comes to mental health or your physical health, make sure that you are speaking to someone in that area of professionalism before taking any advice from me, okay? Please always use your discernment. Now tell me more about time. Why will we strain time? Take that one. Okay, something that you're being told not to invest in. Because where energy goes, you know, where, where intention goes, energy flows. And you got the Princess of Cups in reverse. There's something that you're being told either not to invest in or not to be overly um, focused on, which is what? The star. Is this the news? This is something online. What is it online? What is it about time and not investing in something online? Mm, the drama of it. The drama of it, you guys. There is definitely a need for you not to be... Again, it, it really is something going on about time wasted on um, investing in drama or the drama of it because you have the Nine of Cups here in reverse. You have the Three of Cups and you also have the Ace of Cups. So this is all to do with your heart space. This is all to do with emotions. This can be... Um, especially with the three of wands there's something you're being told not to invest and expand on when it comes to your emotions when it comes to i don't know if this is like if someone is overly watching tarot and i know that it's my i'd love my channel to get more views and stuff like that but if you are obsessively watching my channel or other people's channel to get um like clarity each day i feel like you're being told to kind of step back a little bit especially if there are certain running threads going through um, the spiritual community that really resonate for you i heard use your own clarity it doesn't like you know i don't want every, everybody who watches me to, to drop off the face of the earth but there is there seems to be an encouragement to um use your inner compass the nine of cups is dissatisfaction okay you also have the Three of Cups here, which can be a celebration or it can be a third party. And also Ace of Cups. Someone here is reveling or reveling in kind of like gossip culture. And you've got to think also that when we read tarot, it can sometimes come across as gossip, even though it's not. It's just us tapping into the energy and the messages that come through but someone is becoming a little bit obsessed and i'm only it doesn't have to be tarot it can be the news it can be reading too much celebrity um magazines there's something here about um someone investing way too much in the drama of something in the drama of something so somebody is also watching i had through a through a, a, a squinted lens at something and they're being told to not waste their time on it what is this the world knight of cups this is all to do with heart space and this is lies okay you have the world in reverse There is, someone is, and I don't know if this is a collective or if this is somebody opposing the collective, but someone here is investing way too much time in third party dramatics or in rehashing things from the past that really hurt. And I'm not saying that you should not be diving back into things that hurt to heal them, but it's more to do with kind of being triggered by a wound from the past and rather than going do you know what i have been triggered i know that i'm being triggered right now and it's making me feel a type of way and i'm okay with that because i need to be able to feel this to be able to name it and then kind of move that energy someone's sitting in it instead and just just kind of they're forgetting and kind of slipping into it and it happens but you're being told not to invest so much into this whatever it is that is hurting you it's easy for you know me or anyone to say let it go you're being told to be aware of what it is that's hurting you and why it's hurting you question be your own kind of detective why is this hurting so much why are you investing so much time into this because there's something about when we look into our past 
I don't remember who it was who said it, but it made sense to me. And I'm not a therapist, but looking into the past for too long is depression. You know, staring into the future and worrying about the future is anxiety, which is why we need to stay present. I'm not a therapist and I cannot diagnose anyone in that way. But if somebody is latching on and holding on to things that have happened in the past or even worrying about what's happening in the future, we forget to be present with ourselves. Um, you have the Knight of Cups coming out. Okay. This is some sort of third party energy. And I felt this as I was like um, connecting in. As I was connecting into the collective, I felt like a ball here and here. Like something needs to be said, something needs to be let out, something needs to be purged or somatically released. And you've got a lie here. So you've got the Ace of Cups in reverse, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse, and you have um, the Princess of Cups in reverse. This is not investing in some sort of game. And you have this, you have strength in reverse as well. This is definitely a wound. And you have the five of pentacles coming up. Five of pentacles to the world in reverse, to the nine of cups in reverse. This is either somebody wishing for you to stay in some sort of melancholy energy, or this is somebody who's actually in a really melancholy kind of, I don't have. I don't want to be where I am and all I can think about is A, B and C when it comes to the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Hermit. Someone here has really guarded themselves is what I'm getting as well because the Hermit, you know, is Virgo and they can be quite reserved but someone is analysing something. King of Cups to the Fall. Some sort of... um ending or full start with somebody who is very loving or what there may be the want for love there may be um there may be wounds in sorry i've got a really itchy ear there may be wounds connected to the father line it could be an absent father and i've got the song by bishop bishop thingy bob rummy like a river again it's stuck in my head two of pentacles I feel like there's advice here, and I'm now feeling it right down here as well. What's the advice, please? What is the advice on this? Seven of Pentacles. I honestly feel like there's somebody here who is um, sending some sort of evil eye. Someone's sending some sort of evil eye, or somebody's over-talking or speculating about either you or wanting you to feel a certain way. Or there may also be, it may be coming from you as well. And my phone just made a little zzz, zzz sound. Let me see who that is. I don't know if people are text messaging each other quite a lot. Um, Seven of Cups. Someone's come to some sort of realisation. What's the realisation? Three of Wands. What happened? This is not wanting to expand on something. This is someone really sitting in um, a wound of theirs or kind of like overplaying something. And this is what I mean by someone's investing way too much time into something here, into a wound, into, I heard the same record player or the same record and looking at the devil underneath there, devil and devil twice to the two of cups. What is this? Tell me about the two of cups to the devil. Oh, hello. Ace of swords. You've got, this has come out as confirmation, okay? There's a lie. There's a lie that was going around because you have the six of pentacles. There was a lie to do with um, resources or somebody being able. There's a lie about. What's this lie about? Who is investing in some sort of lie? somebody's really kind of like they believe something they really believe it's like they're believing their own wounding about a, a knight of cups in reverse they're really believing this wounding it's almost like somebody's had their heart broken or someone's really upset about something and they're not able to see the bigger picture 
they're not able to see you know this other person's actions or that whatever's happening to them because i'm getting a real sense of rejection is coming through or this person is rejecting the actual truth they don't want to see the truth they want to they want to stay the victim and we stay wanting to be the victim because one things do hurt us we do have egos and i'm not going to turn around and be like you know you, you're I'm not going to like get out the smallest violin and go Meh. when we feel like we're being victimized we're sitting in a wound that we already have and i don't know why i got like this sense of like um father abandonment issues it doesn't have to be but it's a parental abandonment issues and someone here is feeling really rejected um and it can be the perception, and that's what I mean, but it could be the perception of rejection rather than actually being rejected. Or it could be that this person's been rejected, but that we have that saying, don't we, that, you know, rejection is God's protection or rejection is the universe's protection. Whatever it is that was a no or a closed door was a closed door for a reason. It, it's not a closed door as a punishment. It's a closed door to redirect someone to the door that should be opened for them. And that that is where the saying comes, you know, it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. And yes, it's happening to you, you can feel it and it doesn't feel great, but there's a reason for that. And someone here is holding on tight to that. No, the door is closed. That door is flipping closed. And I don't know why they're holding on to this. Not, they're not seeing that they have absolutely all the resources they need to move themselves away from this. And there's a lot of control coming out here as well. I just, it's easier to lie and hide than it is to see the truth. I don't know if a tower's about to fall for someone here, be that you who's watching, if this resonates, or for someone else. And I feel like if this is for you, you are being told to use your logic over your heart. Rejection doesn't feel nice in any way, shape or form. But rejection has a way of teaching us. it, And I know it sounds really cheesy. It does teach us to be stronger, but it's more to do with tapping into why it hurts when we get rejected what is it that it reminds us of when was the first time we felt rejection what was happening what do we feel is missing if we get rejected by something be it a job a friend uh, a lover whoever that may be but there is a there's a lie there is a lie that's being perpetrated right now but that ace of swords coming out twice someone here has purposely decided to lie and I feel like they're being told either to stop lying to themselves or stop lying to someone else. Because it's a decision that they've actually made. Someone has decided, especially with that two of coins in reverse, this is like not juggling something. This is holding on to one thing actionably. I'm going to do this. And then you have the ace of cups upside down. Okay. This is something that is not... It's not beneficial for either the person they're doing it to or to themselves. And you have the six of pentacles. They're lying about what they took. And you have the sun card in reverse. You have the seven of pentacles and strength card in reverse. You have the two of cups in reverse. And you have the magician. And you have the seven of swords. And I can feel it right there in reverse. This is like, um, there's someone doesn't want to see a truth. Someone doesn't want to see a, a real truth. So they're lying to themselves and they're holding on to that. Why, why is this person holding on to this so much? Because otherwise they're trying to control the way that someone moves forward or they're trying to control the way that they move forward because you have the knight of cups again in reverse so this is a truth that's coming to someone and they don't wish to hear it or they don't it's almost like that you know that cheesy joke of denial is not a river in egypt the chariot is movement but it's also about healing and someone here really wants to um control the way that either they heal from a relationship or how they heal so they can get into a healthy relationship because if you look behind there that's actually the caduceus i don't know if you can see it from here i'll put it in the light at the back underneath where it says cups there's a there's two snakes twined around a, a wand with wings and that caduceus is held by Archangel Raphael, which is the Archangel of the Mind. 
okay and our mental body our higher and lower mental body and as much as it's got cups on there so that's to do with how we connect that to our emotional body so this is the illusion of um a perception that we've placed to make it a truth someone is purposely lying to themselves about something that they found out or the reason why somebody ghosted them or somebody stepped back and took back their cup of love and that three of cups can be a third party but it can also be a celebration and i feel like um someone's understanding why they were not chosen or why i feel like this is coming to be i don't know if this is past present or future but i have a feeling that this could be present and i'm getting like it's like something has really dawned on someone this is a massive tower moment for someone and they're having a lot of trouble in um accepting the truth or processing that truth it's hard for them, like really hard for them, especially with the Seven of Swords, because the Seven of Swords is about illusions and deceit. With it being this way, this person has learned something that is so heavy, they've had to sit down for a minute. Knight of Cups again in reverse. I heard don't, don't love me. And I don't mean don't love me. So-and-so doesn't love me. They may have found out that they were really duped, or someone's finding out who this was. Yeah, look, you've got four of wands to the knight of cups. This is almost like a business transaction. Someone is finding out that maybe they were in a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, whatever that may be. And it was literally not for them. Whoever it is that they connected with didn't want them. They wanted what they could get from them. This is, yeah, with the magician there, this is like really heavy. Like, I need to sit down and think about this. And that ace of swords in reverse twice... This person is trying to, um, they're either trying to um, busy their mind with other things so they don't really have to analyse what's going on, or they, they kind of made excuses for that person's behaviour, but it's whatever it is, whatever information's been given to this person, whatever confirmation they were given, it's like it is so apparent that their own intuition was telling them this person is not for you, especially with this two of cups up here. This person is not for you. This person is a liar. This person has been duping you for however long. And it's really knocked the wind out of this person. Like they know. And with the seven of pentacles in reverse, they know this person has been holding them back or this person has been stealing their energy, or this person has been trying to control them. They know, and they can see it right in front of their face. With a star there as well, I don't know if this is a rumour, or if this is something that everyone now knows, or something's gone viral, or they've watched something online. And that's it brings me back again to somebody watching way too much tarot. Maybe somebody's got obsessed with watching tarot or getting their information through the news or through whatever it may be. And this person is overwhelmed by the fact that the truth is in front of them and they're lying to themselves now and they know they're lying to themselves and that's hard. Because look, you've got the, yeah, you've got the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe they thought they were in a happy family. Maybe they thought their family was happy or it was something that could be fixed. Because you have here the Ten of Pentacles to the Four of Wands to the Knight of Cups to the Five of Cups. Yeah. Whoever this is, I'm really sorry you're going through this. I'm really flipping sorry you're going through this. Because this is heavy. And if this hasn't if this hasn't come to be yet, this is almost like confirmation. Maybe this is the confirmation that somebody needed if they've been having like these intuitive hits that something isn't right. Or they're not they haven't been listening to their intuition. You have to remember that when when heavy towers fall on us, it's because the universe, God, Allah, whoever you see as being the omnipotent one of all has been sending you signs, has been sending synchronicities. Your guides have been kind of like tapping you on the shoulder going, hey, 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 you, you need to kind of go this way. And someone here has not been listening or they've just been going, no, I'm putting my blinkers on. No, nope, I don't need to see that red, that red flag turn it into a green one. I don't need to see that. And it gets to the point where the universe, God, Allah is like, if you go any further down this line, 
you're going to come straight off of your purpose completely. So we have to put a wedge in. We have to put the brakes on. We have to put this tower on your path so that things can fall and crumble away. And the bits that are left, the bits that are left, let's see if I can pick it up. The bits that are left are the bits that you rebuild from. And whoever this person is, whoever, if this resonates with you, you are the magician. No matter where you are in life, you are the magician. Literally, you are the main character of your own story. You are the, you know, you are the master of your own universe. You can create whatever you want. And I know that's easy to say when, you know, for example, you could be homeless and you're, you're probably thinking, well, how the, heck, how the heck do I get myself a home then if I can create whatever I want? I can't give you those answers. I can only channel what's coming through here. But someone here has found out that it's almost like their world has been built on lies. I had the ones I trusted the most. Now, this could be for you or it could be for somebody that you know that you're linked to. You've got to take it as it resonates but you have the knight of cups now coming out twice and next to the hermit somebody's definitely going in within or someone's being asked to go within to really analyze analyze what they want what their priorities are why you know um i heard why they felt the need to flee or why they felt the need to leave i don't know who that's for Ten of Pentacles to the Four of Wands to the Five of Cups. This is literally next to the Knight of, of Cups in reverse. I don't know if somebody thought having a family with a specific person would, would I heard it would feed the void, or it would fill the void, or it would do something for them. Or they, was, they were hoping it would. But there's been a massive realisation, or they've realised that the person that they're with they like i said it was some sort of transaction it was some sort of transaction because those two on their own would be like happy family you know foundations but you have the five of cups there as well this person is they're they're dissatisfied with life or they're realizing they're dissatisfied with life and no matter how much they work at it it's not what they want We've got the Eight of Pentacles coming out as well. Six of Cups. You've got Six of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune. Someone is looking into their past and realising they were happier at some point. Or there's a memory they're looking back to. And maybe there's a childhood memory they're looking back to. I heard in simpler times, there was a simpler time. What was the simpler time? What is this What is this simpler time? You've got the King of Swords coming out. This is connected to someone's father. I don't know if somebody's thinking of their, their dad. I don't know if their dad has passed away. If their dad, they're not in contact with their dad. If they're estranged from their dad. Um, something here needs to be healed when it comes to this. Um, and I feel like going back full circle to the start of this reading, whatever it is that somebody is really focusing their time on, you have to remember that energy flows where intention goes. And if and I'm not saying that you shouldn't feel all the ranges of the human emotions, especially if you're going through something dark or you're going through a trying time or you're going through a revelation where, you know, your world is crumbling as you go through this tower. But there's a need to also hold on with the star being there to hope and what it is that you've got to remember also as we go through towers is a beautiful opportunity. As much as you may not feel that right now, it's a beautiful opportunity to know that when you get out the other side and things that have crumbled, things that you had around you that weren't comfortable, once they're gone, you can rebuild any which way you want. Any which way you want. And you've got here the high priestess to the lovers. This person may actually be realising who it is that they're with or the people around them. Now, this could be for you as well. It could be finding out that the person that you loved has been working against you. 
finding out that you know the person that you um thought was your divine counterpart was working against you it doesn't have to be but there definitely is it's almost like having a dagger placed into someone's heart here thinking that that, that the, there's something here about some trusting someone and realizing that that trust was just manipulation the high priestess being in reverse as well i mean this can be about you know sending magic and blah blah blah, blah. but what i'm getting from this is that somebody was really really manipulated really like con artists manipulated into feeling like this person loved them or this person had their best interest at heart and somebody has like sold them down the river or has they're realizing that this person i heard they have a ledger or they have a book or they have something along those lines where they may have marked in there how much they've how much they were able to take from this person how much they take from other people so this, i don't know if this person's realizing that the per the, the person that they've married is not the person that they um they've been portray portraying it doesn't have to be marriage we do have the four of wands here but this is um the illusion of the two of cups upright when it's actually the two of cups in reverse which is why you have the two of cups there and the two of cups here the mirror i said that it may not have magic in it but there's something to do with like mirrors you have the ten of cups and you also have the seven of wands in reverse to the five of swords i don't know if there's been an argument i don't know if this is like an internal argument or if this has been an argument with that person or with people around them and it's kind of tipped them off it's tipped them off that there's this there's been something to do with money going on and this person either realizing that they were only used for money or maybe you're going to find out that you were used for money or there being someone in the family and the family can be the family that you make it can be your blood family as in your nucleus or it can be the family that you create with somebody else like literally having a child with somebody else but i'm getting um this eight of pentacles to the ten of cups in reverse someone was there to get what they could or someone is going to make it's going to be apparent that the person that either you love or whoever this person is loved or still loves was literally just there for money it was literally a business transaction and there is like this heavy heavy energy going to the pit of my stomach and then the numbness oh my goodness my heart goes out to whoever this is whoever's going through this okay but there's a need to be very um be gentle with yourself as you're going through this be very gentle but don't lie to yourself with that ace of swords in reverse twice either somebody is really lying bare face lying to your face or someone has just realized this lie and they're now lying to themselves they're lying to themselves there's also this energy of what if i give them if i give them more if i give them money if i give them this if i give them that will that heal the rift in this relationship and you're being told no not to um it's not your job to heal them and it's not your job to try and fix them because this person people or place or whatever this may be this was manipulation or this is manipulation to get something from you or to get something from them and even though we have the lovers coming out here it doesn't matter i'm not saying that this is a divine counterpart doing this but i am saying that that there's so there is woe or sadness between two people connected by love the seven of wands in reverse this is almost like internal struggle and if this is somebody looking back it's almost looking back to a time when they didn't know back to a time when um i heard they were morally straight i don't know who that is for five of swords to the wheel of fortune arguing about finances or a win of some sort 
This one. Okay. Right, what is this tower? What else is going on with this? Door to personal healing and happiness. This is what I mean. This tower needed to fall, or this tower needs to fall for you. Or it needs to fall for them for um there to be space to grow. For there's something about letting go completely surrendering to this and letting go either of lying to yourself or whoever this person is that's lying to others of just letting go of that lie or letting go of the liar just let go of them let go because i can see someone wanting to cry and then holding it in cry if you need to cry let it go remember i'm not a therapist in any way shape or form um and if this is triggering an emotional wound within you or it is resonating with you and you feel like you do need that support please go and speak to your therapist please speak to a trusted friend or someone that you can lean on that can help you through this okay because it's it is okay not to be okay as long as you're getting support for it look a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo daughter personal healing and happiness there may be someone that wants to come forward and tell you something and it may bring this tower it may actually bring this tower and i don't know if it's going to bring the tower for you or if the towel's already befallen someone else and they wish to share something with you. Now, I don't know if they're going to tell you the entire truth. They may only tell you a half truth. And if they do, that's absolutely fine with the time to give rather than take. It could be they just need a listening ear. Maybe they don't want to tell you everything. Or maybe they will tell you everything that they feel is the truth to them, even if they're lying to themselves. And with Virgo coming out, this literally could be that you're going to read between the lines and you're going to see that they're lying to the, to themselves or that they're lying to you and you're literally being told. And this is kind of linking into a reading that I did before with react logically and not from the heart space. Because whatever it is they're telling you, you're being told not to invest in the drama of it. Don't invest in the drama of it. Let this person say what they need to say if that is the case, you know, be that listening ear if that's something that you wish to do especially with time to to give rather than take it may help this person to heal it may help you to heal it may bring the closure that you need and allowing that person to have a platform just to say something i don't know i don't know yet that will be for certain people okay that won't be for everyone and i, I don't know why i feel like saying i do, don't leave angry remarks in the comments going well i don't want my ex coming back and rah, 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 because no one's talked about your ex if people are leaving comments like that, it's not a criticism in saying that that's the area that you're being told not to um, allow drama into your life in. Because if the first person you think of is that ex that hurt your heart or hurt your heart space, then that is where you're being told to pour love in. And I'm not criticising you in any way, shape or form. We are all spiritual beings having a human experience. And sometimes we experience things that are raw, that are, you know that um, make us feel vulnerable, that can be painful. Um, so be aware of what it is that is triggered emotionally when you're listening to this reading, um, because that's where you're being told to pour more love into. And going back to the start of this reading, there's something here about not investing in the drama. Don't invest in the drama. Because look, you've got a personal issue, reaches resolution, and it's upside down. So there is there's, there's still this perception. Someone is holding on to the perception of a lie. And I want to know who. Where do you want this down here? Who? Who is holding on to this? Don't let pride get in your way. Is upside down. So yes, yeah, someone here may be going through some sort of ego death, and that's why it's so shocking or so upsetting. Mars, the drive for the conf the confrontating of the um an action. So this person could be an Aries. They don't have to be. They could just be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There we go. Um, but I honestly feel like there's there's an argument brewing. There's going to be an argument of some sort. There's a high priestess here in reverse who may end up having an argument. Now, this high priestess in reverse may actually be with a divine counterpart of yours. They don't have to be, but you have the lovers upright. For some, this person is married to a, a, a high priestess in reverse. For others, that has it doesn't resonate in any way, shape or form. But there is an argument coming forward. Now, that argument could be with you. 
it could be with whoever they are with, especially if they've just realized that they are nothing more than a cash cow, but really nothing more than a cash cow. There may be an explosive argument that this person needs to have so that they can heal, okay? Because they've been blinded to pain for such a long time, or maybe you've been blinded to, um, to pain for such a long time, and something is coming to the forefront where, you know, this fiery energy needs to come out, but you're just being told, you know, especially with don't let pride get in your ways in reverse. Someone here isn't. Somebody here is open to having this conversation, but you may not get the resolution that you want in this conversation because someone here is not being truthful. You've got to be aware of this, whatever the tower is, whether it's for you or for them. Somebody, if somebody is coming out as the high priestess in reverse and we've had the ace of swords coming out twice as well, it's not going to end with complete transparency and i feel like that is me that's i kind of need to tell you that or whoever it is that's watching this that this resonates with is that you have the two of cups in reverse you then have the two of cups upright which is showing that there are two energies one that was really giving one that was more balanced one that was loving and open 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 and the other one that was tr tricking in some way that was controlling with the sun in reverse, the seven of pentacles in reverse, the strength in reverse. This person was all about domination and control and that perceived kind of illusion of I'm, you know, I'm lovely and I'm light when they weren't because of the high priestess in reverse. If anyone's coming towards you or this person in that energy of the high priestess in reverse, you're never going to get complete equilibrium in a conversation where this person's going to be really open about what they've done because a high priestess is somebody who um not only has you know achieved emperor status irrespective of gender so they've done all of the queens you know they've worked really hard on themselves but they're also very tapped into the divine and very very grounded and it's harm none they do not do things to harm others in reverse this person is not only very very um connected but they're connected in the wrong ways. They're connecting to the wrong things and they are um, doing so for the benefit of themselves, whether or not they hurt other people. So this person could have narcissistic traits. They could have sociopathic traits. Again, I'm not a therapist. I cannot diagnose them, but that I can only read the cards as they are. Having a conversation with this person, they are going to tell you maybe part of what's happened, but things that put them in a better light than actually the actions that they've they, that they've done um you are not going to get all of the information from them look two of potions two of cups upside down i feel like this person's been caught out in some way so they're going to have to admit something it's it's reminding me of um an interview that i watched with a therapist a psychotherapist on youtube and she was talking about people who have actual narcissistic personality disorder and the reason why it seems to be rare it's not because it's rare it's because there are not it's very it's very rare for someone who has that to actually seek out therapy it's usually they are pulled in because of a court mandate or because their partner wants them to go in and they will mask that as something else and a lot of the times therapists will diagnose them as having depression or having this or having that and it's not until six months down the line after doing all this work with them and giving them all this homework and not understanding why they you know they haven't made progression that they go ah and then they go and they have a look and go, this person's probably got narcissistic personality disorder. The reason I'm bringing that up is because this person is not going to um, wave their hand and be like, actually, I do this, this and this because of this, this and this. You're not going to get the truth from this person. This person is very manipulative. Um, and I heard for home and money. There is a reason why. There is a purpose that this person has. And it's, it's, and I, I keep hearing it's not personal, but of course it's personal to whoever this is because this person could be doing this to you. They could be doing it to somebody else in the collective. They could be doing this to your divine counterpart, okay? Because you've got diplomatically relationships and get a fair deal. And you've got Virgo methods for the healing power of the analyzing of resulting from the perfectionism of someone here is very very much being asked to sit in their Virgo, their Virgoing, I can't say it, in their Virgo energy, okay, and even if you don't have Virgo on your birth chart, it's kind of harnessing that energy of being able to analyse and kind of think like a lawyer, 
that's what I heard. Think like a lawyer when this tower comes towards you. Finances. There's something about finances because we've had double Virgo come out now. Someone could be a double Virgo. North node. Yeah. And you've also got scarcity. Interesting. There will be success from and benefit. This person was trying to knock you out of your north node. They've been trying to knock you out of your north node. You've got fragmentation though. You've healed something. You've healed something in your north node. Please have a look at what sits in your north node um, by going and having a look on your birth chart. If you are not familiar with your birth chart or how to view one, if you go online and look at astrocaf.com, that's astrocaf.com. I have no affiliation to them. They're just really, really good. They are free. If you put in the time that you were born, you get an even more accurate um, reading. If you do not know the time you were born and you just put midnight, you will still get an accurate one. And have a look at what your north node is. Okay, have a look at what your, your Chiron is as well. Because someone here is healing this or there are light codes or fragmentations of your soul that are coming back to you. Now, what is this about lies? Tell me more about lies when it comes to the Six of Pentacles, please and thank you. Leo, Leo's come out twice now. This is your fifth house. Self-confidence to create, taking a chance on resulting from the impressiveness of an action balance spirituality with practicality i do feel like someone here needs to um either meditate or do more medit meditative i can't say the word actions now because if this hasn't happened to you and you feel like this may there's something about trying to knock the wind out of you whoever it is that's bringing this information may knock the wind out of you is this me is upside down as well so this is definitely to do with um some sort of likeness of you i feel like this high priestess in reverse has been doing something with the, your likeness pisces spirituality to ultimately experience trusting your psychic knowledge of resulting from the indecision of or about this is definitely trying to knock you off your pedestal this person has been very cold and calculated in what they've done I heard they want to bring this tower to shake your door. I don't know what that means. And look at that. Look what's, look what's underneath. Stop now. Door to value. Stop. They want to shake that door. There's something about the way that you manifest. I heard for pure highest light. Balance, spirituality and practicality. Let me place them down over there. And what do we have here? Fourth house, as you did in the past, your home base or your family, do what makes you feel secure. So this could be happening to somebody else and they're realising that their whole family were in on it. Or this could be happening to you and you're realising that family members were involved. This could be to do with someone's childhood home as well or someone's grandparents' home. It's time to release negativity. So there is definitely this heart space to throat. Someone needs to have a conversation. Okay. They need to release something when it comes to the door of, of value being in reverse. Something needs to be released. Or this person's about to have this conversation now. This denial of, you know, or this illusion that this was truth. Someone here can't keep lying to themselves about what it is they involve themselves in or the energy that they're giving to some sort of dramatic um, situation, entanglement, whatever that may be. You've got the door to romance upside down. Someone is realising that the person they chose is not the person they should be with. Tenth house, responsibility, success, become a person of power and status. And maybe even the contract that they got into, some sort of like career contract or a light contract or a contract that was supposed to be, you know, for their life purpose, that the person actually with them only did it for money or did it for fame or did it for notoriety in some way. And that this isn't the contract they're supposed to be in. Queen of my world. They're with the wrong person. Or you're going to find out that somebody in your family did this to stop you from being with your person. Bring love into the situation. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. I heard housing as well. Housing. Something to do with a home. Something to do with a home is important. Something to do with a home is going to come up in, um, I heard, a court of law. 
tell me about this home one second let me see turned over tell me about this home desire and thinking man yeah there's some deceit going around about a home this is about to, the the deceit is about to come to an end the seat is about to come to an end the seat's about to come to an end you've got miracles coming out okay action is being taken i don't know if this is gonna come to a head in leo season by august or if this has already started to maybe from august it's sort of something something energetically has been retrieved or given back because scarcity coming out with six of pentacles somebody took something is what i'm getting so look you are good enough somebody took something and this is to do we've got a lot of virgo coming out so this is your sixth house someone took something energetically but something physically as well which is being given back and it's always given back energetically before it's it before that trickles down and is seen in the physical world um, the more that you've been stepping into your north node or this person has been stepping into their north node the more they're healing something and i had soul re reclaiming their soul as they're doing this it's getting the ball moving with something that was stolen physically in this realm as well to do with a home or to do with an estate something to do with um your purpose your job or this person whoever this person may be Anything else we need to know, please and thank you. Okay, so someone's already, someone is definitely talking about this by making the right decision. Oh, I was going to say by making the right decisions, but it says by making the right connections. The idea in question, get your ideas going. There's been some sort of conversation about this, about this tower, and someone has been lying big time, lying, 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 lying. And there's something here about you not investing in this drama and the lie, let it play out as it needs to play out. If someone wants to come forward and have a conversation with you, let them have the conversation. You're going to know what parts they're lying about and what parts they're not lying about. And again, think like a lawyer. Don't think with your heart, especially with daughter romance upside down. Do not think with your heart. You've got the Knight of Cups coming out twice. There's something that you need to release. Or, or it could be the other way, way around. Whoever this person is. Them realising that they may need to speak to a lawyer. They may now need to speak to a lawyer. Goddess of the Moon. Someone here is talking about... Um, it's not moon magic. There's something else going on here. Aries underneath your willpower what you think you know about do it your own way and someone's definitely talking about how strong you are there's definitely a conversation going on here about how strong you are or how strong this connection is to whoever this um, energy is over here with the lover's card maybe this is the person that's finding out that you know their marriage was a sham or they were in a relationship with somebody who was very conniving and manipulative and only wanted a b and c from them but there's there's a there's a hushed conversation that's going on about even though when you were in scarcity or this person was in scarcity they were still following the the due north mm. there's more going on here harvest they're talking about how to harvest so this person was talking about how to take how to keep taking how do we keep taking this person may be angry right now yeah this person's angry this high priestess in reverse is angry because they've been they've been caught out and that's why it was it's nothing personal this person's been caught out in some way there's something's about to drop this is what i'm getting and then we're going to be angry words exchanged well there's someone here who wants to go either you into a fight into an like an online like tit for tat somebody may want to come and actually have a physical fight with you or an argument out in the streets or this person may be trying to goad whoever this lover is for you or whoever it is that has loving vibes into having some sort of argument this person may become very angry if um you get into a relationship with this person or if you get legal advice You've got self node. Remember, reconsider now is not the time to. 
Mm -hmm. Put those back. What else is happening? Storms. This is why you're being told not to invest in the drama. Archangel Chamuel, third chakra. This is a time to be tapping into your inner child, your solar plexus. I heard figuring out what you want. Don't let your past hold you back. There seems to be a need, especially for releasing negativity. There's something here about speaking it out into the world. getting, it, And especially we had the third house coming out with getting your ideas out. Strategy and joy upside down. Somebody here, and I've been saying this, someone needs to get some sort of routine set. Someone needs to set a routine right now. Who is it that is feeling a bit confused? Who's feeling confused right now? I feel like whatever information comes forward may knock you off your feet for a moment and you may have to gather yourself. And if, yeah, and I say that and look what's underneath grounded. If this is not for you, this is for whoever it is that's realising that, you know, the people around them were really just using them for what they could get from them because this person's the magician and this person is being told to really ground themselves and to kind of focus on the things that they're putting into their body, how they're eating, if they're working out, you know, service to others, what is good for us and your work and grounding is really important at this moment, okay? Um, if this is a divine counterpart, this person isn't really looking at romance right now and I'm not surprised, you know? If this is you, you may not be looking at romance. You may be actually focusing more on your body, on your mental health, on your work, on a business idea if you have one. Um, you've got forgetting oneself and nothing is yet set in stone. So that's temporary, okay? Time for healing is definitely here. I feel like whatever this tower is, it is necessary. It really is necessary. So if this is you lying to yourself about something that you're investing yourself into, whether that's a person at the moment who isn't ready, there's a need to let go of the fear of abandonment or the fear of rejection. And if that is not you and you don't resonate with that, whatever is happening in this person's life that is connected to you, this person may be going through a dark night of the soul and there is a need for them to really accept um, the tower that's falling around them and for them to connect into their inner child and to really focus on themselves because it may knock them off of their due. It, it's not going to knock them off their due north, but it may make them falter for a moment. And they have to figure out how to balance themselves back out again, if that makes sense. Anything else? Yeah, temple path. Temple path and bride, bride in a cage. So this person may be freeing themselves or you may be freeing yourselves. If this is a tower that's coming towards you, or there's a revelation that's coming towards you, it's going to free you from some sort of constraint or binding to your heart space, to something that happened in the past or, or to a person in the past. And that needs to be let go of so that you can go into this new phase of your life, okay? By bringing love into this situation. You've also got here Uranus, an unusual example of a different way of looking at an unexpected change. You may be meeting someone. Part of this is that you may be meeting someone, somebody who mirrors back where you are in your life. So if you are at the moment... um holding on to that kind of I am a victim right now this really flipping hurts what I'm going through and I'm not criticizing in any way shape or form then you're going to be meeting somebody who's going through the same thing I feel like there is someone out here whoever this person is who's finding out and this could have already happened it could have been happening right now or in the future they're finding out that you know um, the person around them was actually a thief or there was a dark high priestess you may be finding out something quite similar and when you meet you've got to be very careful that you don't trauma bond okay i feel like there will be god guard up though you're going to have your guard up because look you also have happy family in reverse but then you also have level up and you have awakening so this person may be moving up or they may be realizing that a child isn't theirs you may be realizing that a child isn't yours I don't know, there's something going on with children as well. Envious and manifestation. The child I was meant to be. This is in a child as well. This person may have may be finding out that a child isn't theirs. Oh my gosh. They literally may have just found out that the child that they have loved is not theirs. Especially with Archangel Chamiel coming out as well. And don't let your past hold you back. Stop. 
awakening. They may be finding out that the person that they were with, if they are a divine masculine and they, you know, identify as a man, they may be finding out that the person that they thought was pregnant with their child is not actually their flipping child. Wow. That will only be for certain people. Anger and chains. This is very much about soul recall and releasing something as well. And this could be for you. This could be for somebody else, this other person. But anger and chains in reverse with bride in a cage also. These are kind of letting go again of constraints from the heart space. For humanity's sakes, your hopes and wishes, do it for the future. And you've got obsession. There's something that needs to be let go of. There is definitely something that needs to be let go of. Either you need to let go of this or they need to let go of this. But you two are definitely connected in some way. I feel like there is a mirroring going on. Ninth house, as if it came, as if it or they came from all there is. The philosophies and laws involved do it in a big way. And liberation, yes, look at that. I'm telling you, it's going to free you. Either you're being freed and it's going to be surprised. There's something surprise coming in that's going to free you from some sort of illusion when it comes to your heart space. And this may be happening to this other person and or happening to this other person. Because you've got fifth house with the trust of a child. What was I saying? This person finding out that that's not their child. This high priestess over here may have been holding on to them. That makes sense now. With the Ten of Cups in reverse to the high priestess, shut the front door. Come on, house has been looking me straight in the face. And then you have here the drive for the confronting of an action. Wow. And then you've got the Leo in reverse doing it dramatically. This person is going to find out that this kid isn't theirs. And that will be for specific because you've also got the fourth house here what the frick excuse my language defend accept let your feelings tell you how to i honestly feel also that for someone here there's been the illusion that you are not a very nice person when it comes to children and i don't know there's a lie going around that you aren't a nice person when it comes to children that you don't take care of your kids if you work with children that you weren't a good teacher something along these lines and this is a lie that's been going around and you're being told whatever it is that you is brought to your front door do not invest in it it's almost like um when when you meditate if you want to get to the point where you kind of slow down your thoughts um a really good tip is when you close your eyes and you're doing your breathing and you're kind of slowing down your nervous system your brain may go really haywire and not like everything will go through your head and you're like oh my gosh how do i slow that down is that you view it like it's a TV screen, like you're watching a show, but you don't invest in what it is that you see. And when I say you don't invest, is that if you are, if a, a past memory is coming up and you hear that person saying ABC like they did before, you don't then invest in what it was that you said. You don't replay what you said. And if you feel like you're about to do that, you look here to your third eye. You can imagine a shape or a color or whatever until that passes. And once it's passed, another memory will come along and you just don't invest. And when you feel like you are, you go back to your breathing, look here and let it pass. That's the that's kind of like the energy I'm getting of this. Whatever is brought to your door, whether this is you or for whoever this person is over here, their advice, your advice is whatever is brought to you as in, here you go. Here's a big lump of my negative projection energy. You can have this because I know it's going to you know, pee you off or it's going to hurt you. Or it's going to blah, blah, is be that lawyer. Think with logic and go, OK, I know how this is making me feel and I know that I want to react. I'm going to count to 10. I'm going to take my deep breath and I'm going to pretend this is like a meditation. I can see it going in front of me. I am not going to respond. Not yet. I want to get all the information. I want to note this down. It's almost like, OK, thank you for that information. I'll, e I'll, I'll email you. Defend, accept, let your feelings tell you how to really work with how you feel, which is why spirituality and practicality, balancing those came out, because you've got worthiness upside down. There's something here about feeling rejected or feeling um, abandoned or purposely feeling picked on. And I feel like this is partly the universe wants you to give something up to surrender something, surrender that part of yourself that 
you're holding on to from the past that makes you feel like that in this instance and that's for you or whoever this person is and also is part and parcel of whoever this person is wanting you to feel like this because they're flipping envious of you it's all a game it's all about you not manifesting what it is that you you know the child i was meant to be this liberation these all of these wishes that have been granted for you that are coming in for you this person doesn't want you to level up so they're going low they're going as low as possible whether that's for you whether for this that's for whoever this person is who's finding out that you know their whole marriage or relationship is a scam take a deep breath see them for who they are see them for what it is they're trying to do and see it see the universe for what it is they're trying to gift you at the same time absolute pure liberation because this as well that condenses down to a 10 that number in the corner there that's that that's a full completion you've got bride in the cage in reverse and you've got anger and chains in reverse this frees you this completely frees you or it com it completely frees this person look at that celestial alignment i'm going to leave it there i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated for you i would love you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when i post and if you are a returning subscriber soul family hearts kisses stay awesome i will see you in the next one bye